Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty with your August 2023 Victoria, BC real estate market update. So let's get started with the numbers. 544 sales in the month of August. This was up from last year when we only had 478. Keep in mind, last year was a very slow year. 2021, we had 831 sales. 2020, we had 976 sales. But if we go back 10 years to 2013, we had 487 sales. So on the whole, it was definitely a bit of a slower month, but nothing catastrophic, especially when you factor in the high interest rates. I actually thought it was a pretty good month overall. Heading into August, I actually thought sales would be lower uh, than where we ended up. Inventory, active inventory is at 2,490. Uh, that is up from last year when we had 2137, up from 2021 when we only had 1120, and down a bit uh, from 2020 when we had 2584. If we go back 10 years again to 2013, we had 4,593 active listings. So listings are up compared to the last few years, but on a 10, 15 year average, uh, Inventory is still uh, quite low, uh, in my opinion, and this low inventory is creating uh, stability in the marketplace. New listings, we had 1,095 new listings. I won't talk about this too much. It's in line with the 5, 10, 15 year average, uh, nothing new uh, on that front. So let's go to prices. Uh, single family home median was 1,165,000, uh, a bit down uh, from the previous month. But if you look at the last month, but if you look at the last five, six months, basically pl pl prices have plateaued. There's always going to be a bit of variation month to month, but uh, no big news there. Uh, condo median 550,000 uh, down uh, 2,900 from the month below. If, once again, if you look at the last five, six months, basically we've plateaued on the condo median as well. So on the whole, it was a really boring month. Nothing exciting happened. Sales were a bit slow, but not catastrophic. Inventory went up, but not much at all. It still remains relatively low. Prices across all market segments, single family homes, condos, townhomes, essentially flat, despite the very high interest rates. I think we're gonna see more of the same for the last four months of the year. Uh, back in January, I predicted we would have a slower year in terms of sales, about 6,500 sales for the year. And that's exactly the pace uh, we're on. So sales are definitely slow but the low inventory stabilizing the market where we're not seeing a lot of downward pressure on prices. In fact, prices came up this spring 10% and now they've plateaued. So I think the next four months could be uh, very boring where we see the sustained rates, we see lower sales numbers. However, prices continue to just simply uh, plug along and not go up or down. What next year brings, uh, who knows. Uh, that being said, if you are a buyer, when you go into the fall, there are sellers that were not able to sell in the spring and the summer that become a bit more motivated. So even if the median prices remain relatively level, sometimes for buyers, there can be more opportunity in the fall, winter months in terms of isolating a really good deal. As for sellers, you know, it's a slow market. There's, you know, 544 sales a month, 2,500 listings. So one in five listings are selling every month. If you really want to sell, uh, you got to price sharp. You got to price ahead of the comparables if you're motivated uh, to sell. If you sell, if you list a bit above market, you're probably not going to sell uh, in this market. So that's all for this month. Uh, nothing super exciting. And I don't think we're gonna to see too much excitement uh, for the rest of the year, but you never know. Uh, markets have surprised me uh, many, many times. I think for September, I'm anticipating probably 550 sales. So we'll see how correct uh, my prediction is. That's it for this week. Marco Juras from Fair Realty.